Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. We've got another Black Series. We're digging back into Andor, which I'm very, very excited about the future of Andor Season 2 coming out next year, 2025. We have Dead Romero. Um, yeah, it's it's nice that they're going back and revisiting and furthering furthering the line with, uh, with figures from Andor, and then eventually it'll filter into Rogue One. Um, yeah, this is one I'm surprised we didn't get earlier. It's one of the, it's an interesting she's an interesting character in the sense that the the vintage collection crowd are really really sort of have been lobbying for this one to come out in the TVC. Um, whereas I'd just say you know do any figures in from Andor in TVC would be fantastic because we've only got like three or four. Um, but yeah, very excited that they've uh, taken a step into you know doing some female um, bodied Imperials. So that opens the door for characters like Juno, Eclipse, Ray Sloan, and uh, yeah, a range of other characters which you could only use your imagination. Um, yeah, again, decided to stick with the Black Series instead of Vintage. I will get the Vintage one eventually. Um, but yeah, it's currently Black Series offering more in terms of character diversity in the line. So this is my predominant collection for Andor. So yeah, she's number 12. A bit of a bio there. Definitely nice looking artwork. I'm actually uh, sort of sitting here rather eager to give the uh, season one of Andor a rewatch. So I'll hopefully do that in the next few weeks. But yeah, let's bust open Dedra. All right, guys, here is Dead Ramiro out of the packaging. Really look nice looking action figure. I do have to quickly correct myself. I um, said this was probably the new one to come on a female body, but we already have uh, Tala Durith from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. And uh, yeah, this Dedra is actually a new sculpt from yeah, pretty much the top half of the figure. Maybe the arms are the same too. I'm not quite sure. I haven't quite picked that out yet. Um, but yeah, new torso. Obviously, uh, I think the legs are the same. But yeah, we already had that. So that was just something I glossed over before. Or my brain glossed over it. But um, but yeah, so Dedra isn't the first. And uh, yeah, hopefully not the last either. So weapon-wise, she comes with this... funky looking blaster, which I think is very similar. If not the same one that comes with uh, Dr. Afra And I think... Uh, Jaina Solo, I think, came with this one too. Maybe a little bit different. But it's almost that sort of DL44 kind of shape. It's without the scope. And she also comes with her... I assume it's some sort of like data pad. Clipboard. iPad. Kind of looks more like a... A digital clipboard or something, doesn't it? Not sure which way it goes. I'll have to consult the uh, existing photography of the figure before I display her on the shelf. So nicely painted on there too. So that's cool. So let's get a look at the figure. Yeah, no, I think they've they've absolutely nailed the head sculpt on this one again. What Hasbro is doing with some of these. Human figures is absolutely amazing. Like the lightness is just fantastic. And even like looking at the hair, the shading of the hair, like from where the part is up there, you sort of see there's that sort of darker, darker sort of part of her part in her hair where sort of the light sort of hits the rest of her hair and sort of shows off the light a little bit more. It's a little bit more color, a little bit more depth as well. It's some of those darker tones around the underside of the back of the bun, even around the around the ears. Yeah, it's just really good attention to detail. I mean, the eyes look fantastic. Really nicely look, really nice looking figure. Down to the uniform. You can't, you can probably just see there is this really sort of 
sort of lined sort of texture. It almost looks 3D printed. You can get those 3D print lines. It almost looks like that, but this is part of the ISB uniform. So that's it's kind of cool that they got their own fabric. Got a little rank badge and the little code cylinders up there in the top pockets. Go down sort of standard issue imperial belt. Looks pretty decent to me. And yeah, standard black pants. If we do a little side by side with Tala. Yeah, they are they're the same sculpt. You can just sort of see the creases match up. Yeah, same boots. Yes, there's no no issues there whatsoever. Let's say even the uh, the sleeves, the arms are the same as well. Which again, it works. It works. So in terms of paint detailing, not really a lot else to talk about. It's everything's nice and clean. Everything that needs to be painted is painted. And it's down to the little button there on the uh, on the belt, and the code cylinders there, nice nice and clean as well. Yeah, really, really nice. So we we'll go through the articulation. She does have the ball joint in the head. Quite a long neck too. Sort of goes right up into the head, which is nice. The ball joint at the bottom of the neck there too. Ball hinges in the shoulders. Ball hinges in the elbows. An in and out hinge on this wrist and an up and down hinge on that wrist. She does have some articulation in the waist. Uh, ball and socket in the hips. Swivels at the top of the thighs there, which are actually, you know, just hidden by the by the shirt. Ball hinges in the knees. Ball hinges in the ankles and a rocker joint in the foot. So you can get her in those ultimate action poses. But yeah, no, I'm happy. I'm pretty happy with this figure. I think she's a nice addition. Um, I do love that they've. Uh, yeah, it seems to be a lot of cause for Hasbro to just sort of do current media and then once that's sort of onto the next thing, it's, you know, kind of forgotten about these days. But I'm glad they're going back, revisiting, adding more characters. Um, yeah, I'm ready for more, definitely, with uh, in regards to Andor. And I'm just going to assume... That's the right way for her to hold the data pad. But before I finish, we're going to do the uh, the old peg test on the feet. These stands can be found at kessrunhair.com. This is where I also get my action figures. You should be pre-ordering through there. Perfect. Look at that. Looks really nice. Really nice addition to the Andor action figure line. I'm looking forward to putting her up on the shelf with some Imperials. But yeah, love, love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think of the figure below. Were you getting this one? Were you hanging out for the TVC one? Sound out down below. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you very soon. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll catch you in the next review. Until then, may the Force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.